That's Vinny Ball from Hell Yeah! And we're live, coming to you from Las Vegas, and you're watching Reality Check TV. Come on! Check your reality right here on Reality TV. Reality Check TV. Yeah. <laughs> Do it again. One right. more time. Well, I was getting backwards on purpose. All right. Check it out. You're hanging with me right here on Reality Check TV.
badass guitar player. There's no way you ever get to hear him play guitar, but Dr. Ellis. Without a doubt, one of the best looking human beings you've ever met in your life, and the greatest singer. Let's hear it for Todd Dammit! <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, do that again. I know that, like, this was for Jimmy the Rev Sullivan from Event Seven Fall he passed on December 26th. Two seconds of silence. Let's do it. All right, we're gonna do a little ditty about my home state, the state of Texas! Is anybody else out there pissed off that Alabama won the national championship? If they wouldn't have broke our quarterbacks back in the first quarter, we would have won. back for the first time in several years. Uh, an old friend here, v Vinnie Paul, man. Pantera, Damage Plan, what is up, brother? Hell yeah, that's what's up, man. We're working on a new record. It's almost done. It'll be out in May, and uh, we're going to take the world over. Are uh, you doing a new record with who? Hell yeah. Check this out. i make it easy on you. There it is. It's me and uh, Chad and Greg from Mudvay, Tom from Nothing Face, and Bob Zilla that played the Damage Plan with me. Hell yeah, that's the name of the band. Hell yeah, that's the name of the band. Right on. Glad to see you're coming back with some new music, man. I'm having a blast. I love Vegas, and everything's good. Now, are you based here in Vegas now? Well, I still have my house in Dallas, but I love Vegas because there's so much entertainment, so much fun out here. Uh, every night's a good time, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so I, 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 I was telling you, you know, we, we've had you on the show, and of course we've had your uh, late brother, R.I.P. Dimebag. All I got to say is he's still with us. He's with me everywhere I go, and... Uh, the most amazing human being I ever knew in my life. I love you, John. And he appears on the edit credits of every show. You know, we had some fun with him back in 2000 where he picked up a guitar and sang a little ditty about our show. And we play that at the end of every show with a little memorial to him. Reality check. Reality check. <laughs> Better check your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Bad motherfucker. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. It's very uh, it's gracious of you. Man. Ten years we've been doing that, and, you know, and, 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 and it's never going to leave it. Now, uh, last night we saw you singing with the Sin City Sinners. I love getting up. Uh, and now pass, oh, hell, hell, I couldn't get higher. Yeah, I, I never seen you sing before. Well, you know, it's one of my hidden skills. Uh, of course, I can only sing Wasp songs because I sound just like Blackie Lawless, but other than that, you know, I, I stick to the drums. This is the party part. Should I take my pants off?
Diddy about the home state. I love it. Yeah, they, yeah. They let me down last night. They lost, but it was a great game. Yeah, you know, the last time we saw you in 2007 at the NAMM show, you were part of a great all-star jam, which was a tribute show for your brother. There's a, a lot of great tributes that's gone on, and I'm always up for a jam with anybody, and uh, you'll see me tomorrow night at Green Valley Ranch with the centers. Tonight, I was a little too smoked to get up and jam, but I'm having a good time yeah. drinking, and that's yeah, all that matters. But it was an all-star. You up there with Scotty and uh, Ace Ripper, Freely. And, and Ripper Owens. Ace Freely and uh, Eddie from uh, Queensryche. Yeah, he, okay, he yeah, a guy, okay, a couple guys from uh, uh, Black Label Scotty and uh, Nick Bocott from Grim Reaper. Yeah, yeah Nick Bocott's always been a, a big friend, a supporter of everything we've ever done. Uh, we've known him for years. Obviously, he writes for uh, Guitar World. And uh, my brother and him, were, they had an amazing relationship, and he's a great dude. That's all I got to say is, look, it's a beautiful day. And all I got to say is, I remember Projects in the Jungle. I remember it, too. Uh, every now and then when I listen to that stuff, it blows me away, because in a weird way, it was kind of ahead of its time, man. I thought that when I was in high school, you know, and you guys were the same age, we're all the same age. Like, hey, these guys are in high school too. High school, college, whatever it is, it's all about rocking and rolling. I wrestle heavy metal rolls. Heavy metal rolls. Yeah. And I still got the old issue of Metal Forces when you're on the cover. Wow, that was a big, really, that was huge for us back then, you know. I mean, uh, for a band on an indie label, with, uh, nothing really going for us, that really helped uh, blow us up a little bit. Yeah, one of the bands that just hit big, and, and now you're a legend, and I congratulate you on that. Thank you so much. All right, good to see you, man. Have a good time tonight. Vegas rocks. We'll see you soon. Woo! All right. All right. Look who I have here, ladies and gentlemen. This man, one of the most monstrous drummers in the world, the sickest power in groove. Thank you, brother. Appreciate yes. that. Now, actually, I wanted to ask you, uh, as a drummer, would you say that a great drummer can make a pretty good band that much better? Hell yeah, of course, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Now, have you ever thought about doing an dr instructional drum yourself? No, but I got a cookbook that's coming out. Nice. I love to cook. It's called Drumming Up an Appetite with Vinnie Paul. Hold that for a second. It's got a picture of me sitting behind a drum set. I'm holding a turkey leg in one hand, a chicken leg in the other. Those are affectionately known as drumsticks. <laughs> All up here. That's yes, right. So indeed. it'll be out probably uh, around the summertime. It's got a lot of my really killer recipes. I'm going to have a lot of my guests, celebrity rock stars in there. And uh, a lot of my tongue-in-cheek humor. So you got to check out Drumming Up an Appetite with Vinnie Paul. That sounds cool, man. So is it more a lot of barbecue, southern-style cooking? Uh, a lot of barbecue, Tex-Mex, Tex yeah, absolutely, you know, all that good stuff. Do you Cajun? Do you Cajun? I do a little Cajun, not too much. It sounds like they're doing Cajun music right now with uh -huh. Ron Jeremy. I know. A little cool, baby. That's pretty cool, though. So that sounds like it's going to be good, because I love that style of cooking. I love Cajun food. So cool. Well, that sounds good. And now what's going on with the uh, Hellion? Hell yeah! We'll be playing at Nam. On, uh, Sounds like fun. Next week with Megadeth, it's going to be the big Dean party on Friday night. And then we start the big Jägermeister Buck Cherry Tour on January 20th in San Diego. Play here in Vegas on the 22nd at the Joint. 
and it goes till the end of March. After March, we go uh, South America. After South America, back to Europe for Sonosphere, and then who knows what after that. So we'll see. South America. Now, how? how tell me about uh, playing in South America. Is it an adventure or is it cool? Now? It's you know I haven't been there with Hell Yeah, but I was there many times back in the day with Pantera, and it was always incredible. This uh, the most rabid fans in the world. Beautiful girls down there, you know, dark hair, dark skin, green eyes, real natural, and uh, that stuff. Oh, it's beautiful, man, and uh, and you know, just uh, generally, just a great time because they're just so into the music. They really love it. They do appreciate. It. That's what I keep hearing, and uh, it's getting to be like easier and easier for all kinds of bands to go down there and have a fan base because because the fans are so and they come out. And show. Oh yeah, no, yeah. I mean, Rock and Rio, they do a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand people every year. Uh, hopefully we'll be part of that, and it's just, uh, like I said, a great place. Everywhere is a great place to play, but that is one of the best. Sounds like a good time. Now, what's going on? Uh, is the is the label still up and running? Oh, yeah, yeah. I still have the label running. Obviously, I'm real busy with Hell Yeah right now. Our brand new single, Better Man, just dropped. The video will be coming out in about two weeks. Uh, it's uh, it's really, really uh, a deep video, deep song, and hopefully uh, everybody understands the message and, and, and gets it. But, uh, you know, Big Ben Records is something I really enjoyed doing. It was an opportunity for me to put the Rebel Meets Rebel thing out that me and my brother did with David Allen Coe. Nice. Uh, my brother's book, uh, Seventh Boy, Johnny and Kenny from Typo Negative. It's one of my favorite records I've ever, you know, been a part of as a producer or anything. And, uh, you know, I'll get back to doing stuff with that when I get a break from Hell Yeah, but right now I'm really focused on that. Yes, hell yeah. So that sounds like uh, you got a full plate. Now you're doing some other stuff too. Or, uh, didn't you do like some clothing stuff too? I don't do I don't do clothing, man. You're not doing the clothing? <laughs> no, I thought I read. I like roar, but no, no, I do strip bars, man. I own a bunch of strip bars. Right, uh, right, right. House in Dallas. Uh, uh, I own a chain of Latino strip bars known as Chicas Benitas. Beautiful. <laughs> nice. We got one right here in Las Vegas, one in Dallas, one in Austin, and we're about to open one in Tucson and uh, Phoenix. And uh, basically, we just play a lot of really cool rock and roll, uh, a lot of good Latin music, put football on the big screen, sell a ton of Corona, and they just they, 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 they rock and roll. Great. Sounds like a great time. So if, if people want to uh, keep up with what you're doing, is there one central website or a couple? Ah, there's, there's a ton, you know. Obviously, you can go to hellyahband.com, Hell yeah, uh, MySpace page, Facebook slash Hell yeah. I got Vinny Paul on Facebook. I'm, I got Vinnie Paul on Hell Yeah, I mean, uh, MySpace. I got it all, so just go check it out. And then I'm, I am going to open a website uh, for the cookbook pretty soon. So look for that. It'll be Drumming Up an Appetite with Vinnie Paul. Uh, for the label, is is there a big... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's BigVinRecords.com, uh, BigVinRecords slash MySpace. We do it all. So send me, send me your stuff. I'm still into listening to everything. I've probably got 15,000 demos I need to go through. Uh, put it in a weird package. Those are the ones I go to first. Nice. People that can manage to get their CD inside of a whiskey bottle, I'm breaking that bottle open and checking it out because it's got to be special. You know what I'm saying? I love it. People that send it. their CD wrapped in red carpet. That's special. I had a guy send me a, a box that was the size of a guitar, right? Nice. And it had a CD in it, a chair, a box of popcorn, and a fucking jam box in it. And it said, be prepared to be blown away, Mr. Paul. Sit down, enjoy your. Ch I thought this thing was a fucking bomb. I had my sister Fry Dog open this motherfucker because I didn't know what it was. We put it on, and it was the worst recording I ever heard in my life. It was like somebody recorded it in their garage. It was a great pack, but it was awesome. So they got, they did get listened to by Big Ben Records. So there you go. There you go. So the stranger, the better, folks. <laughs> the two things that count in the music industry. Being totally original or being better than everybody else. And it's hard to be better than everybody else because there's a lot of talent out there. So be different, motherfuckers. Bring it. I like it. I like it very much. Mr. Vinnie Paul, very good to see you again, sir. See you guys soon. Rock and roll. Hell yeah.